Welcome back. The next lower rated bot that I have on my list is Tectone. I guess that's how you pronounce that. From Canada, I do recognize that flag. And uh, But before we do, uh, I did lose a rapid game here on chess.com, so my rapid rating is now down a little bit from my peak. Also, I'm gonna try something new with the module that's right here on your screen. Instead of putting it right there so it's in a way and it looks like I might bang my head on it, uh, I'm gonna put it on my splash screen so it'll show up on every video like this. There you go. Did you see it? So every, uh, I'm just gonna try to update it right there so on every video where I remember to do the splash screen that pops up, you'll see my current rapid rating and I won't have to mention it again because it won't be right here in front of my face. All right, let's play this bot. I'm going to choose Tectone, random colors, and oh, I got the black pieces again. So we had white like six or seven times in a row and now we have the black pieces. Okay, Tectone has played the Anderson opening according to uh, you see way up there by his picture. Uh, I don't know what that does other than basically toss the opening back to the black player, the player with the black pieces, giving us the choice of what to do. I will open with knight to f6 and see what white does. Okay, white played d6. Uh, white still has the opening advantage because this prevents later uh, opportunities for my bishop to come down there. Um, and otherwise we're in a d4 opening, a queen's pawn opening, but with a3 having already been played. So I do see the advantage of that. I'm going to go ahead and play as normal with e6. That, I don't know that that's normal. I understand sometimes the knight doesn't want to go to f3, but going to h3 seems odd. Uh, I've seen several openings where once this pawn and this bishop are out of the way, the knight develops to the e2 square, but I don't know of any opening where that's the right thing to do. I'm going to go ahead and play d5 and then get this bishop out and castle, I think. Hmm. That looks very weakening there on the king side. I don't know how exactly to exploit it, but I like this bishop on d6 right now, so I'm going to do that. Prepare to castle. Wow, I'm pretty sure that is also a mistake. So it looks to me like in addition to playing a very odd opening first move, um, then Tectone has played one, two, three very odd moves after that. So in five moves, I think four of them are pretty bad, but I don't know exactly how to punish it just yet. I do know I can make an immediate threat on the center pawn by playing either c5 or even e5. And if they take, I can take back with my bishop right there. And I'll be the only, well, I would have lost one center pawn that way. So it wouldn't make that much difference. But maybe here at some point would be good. But that can't be good, can it? And what can I do about it? I don't know what I can do about it, to be honest. Um, I think maybe instead of castling, just yet, the opponent has made no move to castle. I think I'm gonna put this knight on d7, which will give an extra defender to my c5 square. Also an extra defender to this knight. Okay, Tectone has put his g knight back on g1. I'm going to go ahead with my plan of playing c5. And Tectone has just given me that pawn. I mean, it will be a trade because the queen can always take back, but then I'm the only one with two center pawns. Um, yeah, let's do it. Okay. He did take back. But now I've just won the queen, I'm pretty sure, because I can put my bishop safely on c5 and pin the queen to the king, and then I will win the queen for at most a bishop. So in addition to those other moves, uh, and even made no move to defend the queen, so I just win the queen with check, 
and now that pawn moves and now i will bring my bishop back and we have i think we have beaten this spot the only thing we have to do now is just be careful that we don't blunder away everything like we did with martin on that very first low rated bot game okay that also looks like is he just toying with me am i am i gonna get slaughtered here in a minute i'm gonna take the full center that's not scary if it comes any further i can always put this knight over here but you know what i almost said i would play h6 so i could put the knight back here but um no then then h6 would be a target okay let's our king is over here let's play d4 and we have lined up a, a battery against this pawn let's see what happens tectone has moved his king away okay well let's do that and then any knight move we make will be a discover check from our queen so let's put the knight here let's, let's see where can the knight go besides back that's the only place the knight can go and the king then will be forced to one of these two squares but that doesn't really win us anything i'm going to hold that in reserve for now i want to get this bishop out how can i do that I need to move either the knight or the pawn. So, I mean, this makes sense then, right? To move this knight first, then get this bishop out. But it can only go here, I guess. And then the knight will be in the way of defending of this bishop defending that pawn. Maybe I should put this bishop here first and threaten the rook. Let's see what happens. Okay, it gave me the rook and then took the pawn. Well, I'll happily take that trade. Then... Uh, my bishop is safe there temporarily, but just to take away an escape square for the king, let's put the bishop right here, which indirectly also threatens this pawn, but it's taken away an escape square for the king. So when I move this knight with check, discovered check, then I should be able to win this bishop. So check. Okay, I didn't win the bishop because they can block with it. All right, see? Learning something new. I cannot yet take this pawn because the knight is still guarding it. I wonder if I can go in here and then check this way, and my bishop will be guarding that knight. Let's try that. Okay, the king has moved. could check with the bishop and then when the knight takes I would take with the knight but I'm looking for something better and it looks like Tectone is defending very well considering that he gave up his queen very early or I'm defending very poorly uh, that, uh, or attacking very poorly which is highly likely but I'm going to put my rook on e8 which lines it up with the king and then it, uh, maybe I can push this e-pawn here in a second. Let's see what happens if I do that. Both my minor pieces were temporarily safe until that move, forking the two pieces. That was pretty sharp. Um, one way I can get out of that is the thing that I suggested earlier, which is check here. Which... Uh, if they take it gets my knight out of trouble if they just if i check and they move out of check then i can move the knight down there but then i'd lose my rook how about this that defends the knight and the rook oh and he just hung his bishop okay now i will do this check if he takes my bishop i will take back and go ahead with my plan of pushing the e-pawn now that my rook is behind it let's do that check with the rook 
I, that was his only move because my bishop cuts off these squares, my knight cuts off this, my queen cuts off these two, and his bishop was in the way so he couldn't have gotten out there. I guess he could have also blocked with the knight. Uh, but now I can just take the bishop, but now he has an escape square. Let's take the bishop with check. The king has to move here. Okay, I was gonna say the knight could have blocked, but but the pawn is was guarding that square. Okay, now I can check here and defend the rook at the same time. Which I think forces the king there. And the king is running out of squares, but Okay, I was going to move my queen somewhere to check down this diagonal. However, I realized that my queen is cutting off this square if the knight's not in the way. So I was thinking of checking maybe here. That still leaves the king these escape squares, because my queen would be cutting off that one. But it also leaves the king this escape square on f4. But if it comes to f4, then I can put my queen there and that's mate. So I assume if I check here, the king will go back to one of those squares. If it goes to h3, I can move my pawn forward with a discover check from my rook. And if it goes to h2, my knight would be here, then, then I can move my queen up. I'm gonna try that. Okay, it went to h2. That's not mate because their knight can block. However, I have these checks here, which I think would force the king to h3. And then I think moving that pawn would be, no, it wouldn't, still wouldn't be mate because of that. Wow. Okay, well, let's do this. Forces the king to h3. Oh, my knight's guarding that square, so that's mate. Okay. We beat Tectone mainly due to very early blunders on the part of the bot. The first four or five moves were almost all suspect, other than d4. And uh, we're going to run the game review and see exactly if I could if I, if I could have done any better or, or exactly how much earlier I should have done something okay according to the game review I had incredible accuracy 93.1 percent with no blunders mistakes or missed wins uh, the bot did not have any blunders surprisingly enough only four mistakes and three inaccuracies I'm gonna click start review okay that was inaccurate when I placed my knight here uh, but it says it didn't take away the advantage that I had. Now the game is close to equal. You see that message? You had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. Uh, to me, minus 1.57 is a pretty significant lead for black after five moves. But apparently I could have done much better. So I'm going to click retry and... Um, is it suggesting that I should have maybe played the knight out to get the open the queen here? Because wouldn't they have just blocked with the pawn at that point? What else could I... Or does it want c5 now? Is that what it wanted? Oh, it did want c5 now. c5 is best. But that's c... Minus 2.41 is not that much different to me than minus 1.57 after five moves. I mean, it's obviously better but not that much better so anyway next I'm gonna guess my next inaccuracy was how long it took me to checkmate the the king oh that was inaccurate okay you overlooked checkmate apparently I had a mate here oh I see it now my goodness well, we kind of knew, based on my previous experience, that I would have checkmated much more slowly than I could have. That's mate. All right. QD1 checkmate is best. 
Well, yes, it's much better than what I did, which was not checkmate immediately. And go through all that trouble. Okay, well, hopefully some of you guys saw that as we were going through the game and knew that I had checkmate way back there. I'm going to switch to the analysis tab and go back here um, where it said I had made in one right there. Now that I, I'm seeing that, that it's obvious. I should have checkmated it right there on move 26. But instead I did this and the bishop blocked and I still should have done that. And it would have been made in two because the king would have had to go here. And then that would have been made. Knight to e4. The c knight to e4 would have been made after this. Okay. Well, I didn't do that. I did this, which now moves it back to a made in three situation. And I still should have, oh no, earlier it said I should have played this one. I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Either one of those would have been made in one. But now I need to move the F knight here now. Okay, earlier I didn't do that until the king was over here. So if I had played this now, the king would have taken the rook. But then, D2, and the king takes the pawn, has to right yeah because it can't go this way so it would have to take the pawn and then that would be made okay so i did checkmate more slowly than i could have because from back here at this position i went this way and when the king went out yeah i checked there with that knight giving the king extra running room but then here i almost played this wrong but i did i did eventually see that that was made it took me a few seconds but Okay, so not too bad. I went about four or five moves longer than I should have. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, the next bot on my list is Nico, uh, rated 800 from the United States. So, see you next time.